This girl accepted a 15,000 naira offer to play a girlfriend to a guy at a night party. What she didn't know was that behind that offer was a very dark tragedy waiting to unfold. So on the 13th of August 2024, a report of a missing person was filed at about 4.30 p.m. at a police station by one Miss Blessing or a resident of Bromi area of Fakwara State. Blessing reported to the police that her 21 years old roommate known as Miss Awesu Mojisola had been missing since the 9th of August 2024. According to Blessing, Mojisola is a student of Kwara State College of Health Technology and she had received a call on the 9th of August 2024 from one Miss Similei. Similei was said to have informed Moji about an organized event by the students of Summit and Alahikma University all in Ilori. Miss Similei also introduced Mojisola to one Mr. Adebayo Happiness allegedly. And this Mr. Adebayo Happiness who is a student of Summit University allegedly invited Mojisola for a night party under the pretense that he wanted her to act as his girlfriend for a fee of 15,000 naira. Now that was an offer that Mojisola did not hesitate to jump at. On that same day, Mojisola got prepared and left offer for in Loring to meet with Adebayo to act as his fake girlfriend during the night party. Shortly after Mojisola arrived in Loring, she informed her roommate Blessing that she felt uncomfortable with the hotel where she was lodged by Adebayo. Even more worrisome, Mojisola told Blessing that it appeared there was no party holding in that location. Shortly after Mojisola disclosed all this information to her roommate, her phones went switched off. All attempts to reach her by Blessing proved unsuccessful. Sincerely, at this point, I am baffled and I am wondering, why did he have to take Blessing over three days to report to the police that her roommate was missing? Moji did not hesitate to inform Blessing her roommate about how uncomfortable she felt when she got to the hotel. And I thought that any good friend should have immediately reported to the police the moment she noticed that Moji's phone had been switched off. Even if it was a day afterwards, I think it would have still been okay. But no, it took Blessing over three days to report to the police that her friend was missing. Now that is a red flag. Aweso Mojisola is indigenously from Sango Ota Ogun State from a very poor family background. A student of Kwara State College of Health Technology of Kwara State, she had signed out from school three weeks ago and her convocation ceremony is coming up this Saturday. I can imagine the joy her mother had when her daughter signed out that finally this child is going to give her a better life, that finally there is hope and light at the end of the tunnel. This woman must have been broken getting to know that her child had been missing. She must have cried, prayed and hoped, begged God that he should get her daughter to be found alive and reunited with her. But all of that is not the news I have today. Unfortunately, Mojisola was found but unalived. Moji's body was found unalived and dumped in a refuge site somewhere in Loring, Kwara State. The police have since made arrests of different people in connection with this case. We pray that the soul of Maji will rest in peace and that God will comfort her mother, her entire family and genuine loved ones. This story is so heartbreaking. We are hopeful that the police in Kwara State will leave no stone unturned, that they will get the perpetrators of this evil to be brought to book. I know you've got your thoughts concerning this story and I would love you to pop your thoughts in the comment section. I would read them and engage. Guys, please stay safe out there. It's a cold world, especially my fellow ladies. Stay safe, stay safe, and stay safe. In the meantime, guys, take care of yourself, take care of your emotions, take care of your mental health. Be kind to yourself, be kind to the people around you, and always stay safe. I remain Dorcas Ige Olukun and I love you guys.